I've got a new image that's going to be coming out tomorrow. Uh, what I want you to do is go to bit.ly forward slash Google my econ and it is capital G Google my econ. It is case sensitive. And when we get here, what you're going to find is you're going to find there is going to be an image here called testimonial. If you'll click on that, you will find that I have already created a image that you can personalize. So you'll be able to put in your testimony. You'll be able to put in your image and your name and be able to use this on your social media profile. So how do we do this? The first thing that we're going to do is in order to um, manipulate this image, you first have to make a copy of it. If you don't make a copy of it, you won't be able to manipulate it. So we're going to go here to file, make copy, and then you're going to name the copy, whatever you want to name it. And then you'll click OK. Once it creates the copy, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to X out of the original slide. So we'll X out of the original one. Now that we have a copy, you're now able to edit this copy. So if you want to type in your testimony, just click in the box here where it has your testimony and then you can go in and you can change your testimony. You can also change your name by clicking the box here, changing your name, your contact information, your title, and then the photo. If you click on the photo itself, you'll see an option to replace image. We'll click on replace image. You'll upload an image from your hard drive. So let's just go here. I'm going to find a photo that I have here. Let's see if I can find a good photo. Let's just use this image here. You click open and then you'll see the image here. Now I'm going to want to center this so you can actually double click here. When you double click, you're going to see these little black bars around here. You can move this image to be more centered. You can also grab the size of this image and actually zoom it out a little bit so that the headshot is a little bit bigger. We'll move this back right here. Try to get that perfect and then click off to the side. And now you've got a new image for your testimony. And then once you've created this and you've got it the way you want it to be looking, you'll go here to file, you'll click download and you can download it either as a JPEG or a PNG. You'll download that to your computer. And now you've got an image that you can share on social media. So I hope that has been helpful for you and I'm looking forward to seeing many of your testimonials out there.